What's up, everybody? It's Dimmer Zapper 12 here, bringing you back another episode of Nautilus to put in Ultimate Ninja Storm for Beginner to Master Tutorials. If you have never heard of Beginner to Master Tutorials, it's just basically choose one character out of the whole roster. And I tell you guys everything I know about that single character. Basically, just how to get good with that single character. And today, we're actually going to be doing Madara Uchiha, just because a lot of people requested for me to do Madara Uchiha. Now, I didn't know exactly what version they wanted, so I'm just going to assume it is the better version, the one without the fan. I'm just going to assume that one. So we're going to be doing this model Uchiha. Now this model, he's very, he's, out, at least in the output, I think model is one of those easy characters that you learn and like once you first play him. He's very easy to play, very unique to play as well, and once you get good with him, he becomes almost OP crazy. He, he just becomes, he's modern. Modern is modern. And um, I do rank this version of Modder over the one with the fan, just because uh, the fan, the one with the fan, just looks a, a tad bit slow. But uh, there are some advantages of the other Modder over this Modder. But I'll get to that in um, probably in another video. But uh, let's talk about this. Let's just do with this Modder. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave like down below and subscribe for more beginning my tutorials. And make sure to tell me who else you want me to do for the next episode. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's get started. So I would cast Madara as uh, attack and technique type. So this is he's he's one of those powerhouses that I keep talking about in my previous videos. He's he's one of these powerhouses. This is the guy or one of the guys that can dish out some really really heavy damage, which is with his combos. And he is also technique type. So if you don't know what technique type is, it's just basically right. Um, it's just basically my uh, like the characters who have a special technique. Basically, our special uh, ability that helps them out in battle, or in this case, Madara, them long arms. Them long arms are his, te his technique type. Enough said. These things have, I, I think, if I'm not too sure, I think this is the longest, the longest close range that in the game. Like, I don't think anybody else has this kind of range in combat like this. So. Yeah, this, this this is a major advantage, especially for Modern, because he has so much range other than most characters. But his first hit is, at least this Modern, his first hit is actually kind of fast. So it gives him more priority over most characters. So it's like, if me and Naruto attack at the same time, I will have more, I my attack will go through because my first hit is faster. And I have m much bigger range because, well, freaking Modern Uchiha, that's why. And... <laughs> And yeah, this is basically so. Yeah, he's a second technique. So he, this dude can dish, dish has really good damage, and he has those extra long arms. Plus, it's tilt though. This tilt. I will talk about this tilt in a second. But let's go through his combo. So it's no, this is a neutral combo. Look at that. This is down combo. And here is his up combo. Wait till you use your cell. There you go. All right, so let's get started. So first, um, I'm gonna talk about his. All right, I'm just letting you know there's nothing I found with the up combo. Nothing I found. But uh, let's talk about his um neutral combo. So his, I'm not I'm not saying Marder's neutral combo is actually kind of bad, but it is way too long and. Um, it does look up into a strike back, of course. It does look into a strike back, but I can't combo from the strike back because the animation is still, is still like, it's still there for some reason. I'm not sure this is this was meant to be because I can't combo into the strike back, which I just did. So like, what's the point? So at most you can throw a paper bomb. That's about it to combo it. That's about it. So this combo is 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 too long. You can't combo to the strike back, and it's weaker. Than the down combo, so those are three reasons why you shouldn't be using the Gucci combo. Besides that, it's, it's I don't know why you should be using this one. It's, it's really no reason why you should be using the Gucci combo. Now let's go with the down combo. So the down combo is slightly faster, it is stronger, and you can also use a strike back, but you still can't combo it. So you can still just have to do a paper bomb. So yeah, it's like that. So neither of these combos. Can't, uh, neither of these uh, neutral combo or down combo cancel into a strike back because it's too slow. Either moderate is too high in the air or moderate is too slow for that instance. So the max you can do is just do a paper bomb. 
yeah, it's the ex I can't do anything. So yeah, on the on the new down couple on your channel, you can't comment to strike that. Um, and Max can just throw a paper bomb or something. Just like that, and that can just do the rest of the damage. But I highly suggest you do the down combo because it does do a strike back, and um, it does more damage and it's slightly faster. So it's pretty much better than neutral combo in every single way. Like I'm just saying. Like if you, I, I don't think there's a difference, at least a major difference between the neutral combo and the down combo because they're pretty much the same thing. So the neutral combo is just. A lot weaker so like yeah i'm like i'm not even I'm, yeah it's just, it's just this combo is just pointless when you just have the down combo which is so much more powerful all right so now we're gonna move to this air combo so this air combo is actually very uh rapid it's very rapid it's just like it's it's a quick old six hits it's quick six hits and he you can track or dodge out of the air combo very fast so this is very good for um if your opponent slips behind you can quickly quit very quickly chocolate dash behind them and get the uh, get the advantage if they're not prepared for your chocolate dash so this is one of the major advantages about modern air combo is very fast very easy to cancel out of it's just good you know modern chia he's just good he, he he's even when he's dead he's god that's how powerful he is he just, he just god um here is his grab and tilt. So let's go to the grab and tilt. Let's go to let's, let's let's go with the grab first. So, um, there really is no grab cancel that I can find because most of his combos kind of pushes them away for a little bit, as you see because of the long arms. So you're literally gonna have to do the first two hits, not not the tail. You're literally just gonna have to do the first two hits and then grab. Just it's just like that. That's the grab cancel. First two hits. And it also leads to a strike as well. And this time, it actually just connects up, so you can do whatever you want. So you may want to keep using this. You may want to keep using this grab cancel. Yeah, this is your only. Oh, okay. Is it not the first two hits? Is it just the first hit? Oh, hold on. Let me test this out. Cause I was in the corner last time. Okay, that time it did work. Okay, what the heck? Alright, that's sweet. Let me try one more time. This time, the guard off. Yeah, okay, yeah. So I did, I guess it worked, but it didn't work the other time, I guess. So yeah, it's, it's the first two hits. And then you cancel to the grab, you can cancel to the straight back, and you can do whatever the heck you want. Air combo, jutsu, anything you want. And I messed up. But yeah, that, that's the grab cancel. Now I'm going to his tilt. So his tilt. As I kept doing accidentally, is he put this little aura around him, you know, you know, just like that. But if you get close to your opponent, he actually summons. If you keep rapid tapping the attack button, he summons the Susano as a counter. And I'm not too sure about this. I haven't tested it out, but I think he gets invincibility. But that could be wrong. I, I, I'm not too sure. But he could get invincibility because this is a counter. So. This, this counter is different compared to all my other counters. This, this one takes precision and skill. So what I mean by that is, let's say Naruto is comboing me and I have my guard up. At the perfect moment where, her com where his combo starts to slip a little bit, I go into my tilt. So, so let me let me try let me try to do it with the computer. I did do it with the computer, but it was so hard to do. Because the, the, the computer is stupid. Let's try. Naruto, I want you to hit my guard. I use tilt. Just like that. Just like that. You so, you, so you, I'm not doing that again because it, that was the first time it actually did work the uh, for the computer. So you saw I did. So when Naruto used his combo, at the end of his combo, I used my tilt while I was guarding. And then it went straight into, well, my Susano slamming him down. That's how you want to be using with Mara. So you can use it at the end of your opponent combos, or you can use it in the middle of your comp in the middle of your opponent's combos when it kind of slows down. So it's like oh, shoot, I can't even think of it. So like when a combo kind of slows down a little bit, there's like a frame where you can get this tilt off. You bet you better you better practice at this. But this this takes one this is this is a skill-based tilt. This is this is really hard to get off it's in but it can be really clutch though because I think you have visibility but I'm not too sure about that. But once you do get this tuck off, you go straight into the Susano and you can actually switch your character out and get something else off. So let's let's say this. 
Oh, I messed that up. Try one more time. Just like that, so you can get something else off. So like, um, shoot, I don't know. Maybe a Sangon off of Minato. Maybe a Chidori with um, Sasuke. Maybe a Fire Fire Stuff by Jutsu with some other Uchiha. You know, something like that. You can mix up. You can even cancel your um, an ultimate Jutsu that can work with this. So, of course, I'm not gonna do all the ultimate Jutsus. Of course not. But uh, you're gonna have to test it out for yourself. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can try to do it. I think it's just fast enough. Let me, try, let me try one more time. No. no okay, uh, yeah, you gotta be extremely fast, yeah. I'm gonna have to practice at that. If I if I really wanna learn monitor, I wanna practice at that. But yeah. Usually you're gonna experiment with a few characters for a while to see which one's the best combination for monitor. Alright, so that's just grabbing still. So let's go into the juices. So this is of course dead monitor, and he actually has three juices that we're gonna go through. I'm gonna try to go through go through them as fast as possible because freaking Madara is just Madara. So his first Jutsu is the Fire Style Majestic Majestic Destroyer Flame. So this is my favorite. This is one of my favorite Jutsu in the game just because it looks the prettiest. Look at this. It's it's a gigantic forest fire. So here are the here are the pros about this Jutsu. It is long. It has a massive hitbox, and as it goes out, it expands. So it pretty much covers about 30% of the whole stage with the Jutsu, and it actually takes up a bit of guard damage. Now here are the cons. Um, it leaves you wide open, you can sub it easily, you can dash like at the side of it. If you like dash at the side of it, you can actually dash through it. Those are the cons, and um, it's, it's, it's actually very easy to bypass. So I would say just use this Jutsu at mid range, like this. Use this Jutsu and do it when you want to get some cover. Like if, if you do this, then you your opponent cannot see you. That's the best thing about the Jutsu. Your opponent can to see you because it's so much fire. You can charge up and they won't even see you coming. And this is why I actually prefer this Jutsu over for this Madara because this Madara is actually very fast compared to the other one and even the um. The Jubi, the Jubi model, it's, the Tintos model, it's, it's, it's even faster than that because it actually gives you some cover. So yeah, that's why I recommend you doing this Jutsu. So now I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna I'll be right back for the other Jutsu. So I'll be right back. All right. So this time I am back. This time I have a new Jutsu, which is the Fire Star Dragon Flame Loud Singing Jutsu. And this name is way too long for this Jutsu. So this Jutsu, he actually spits out four separate dragons that each lock onto the opponents. And I suggest this Jutsu is very good for long range, at least a lot, because this Jutsu actually really does lock on to the opponent, and it does actually charge at the opponent. So this actually can be used for some sort of spam, as you can say, some sort of spam. If they they, they can probably block it. Uh, let me see. I mean, I'm a, I still have my uh, pl uh, player two controller on, so let me try. There, I'm moving him. Okay, let me try to dodge it with Naruto. Okay, yeah, so you can dodge it. So at long, this is long range. So let's try mid range. You can dodge it at mid range. Let's try close range. Okay, there we go. So you can't exactly dodge it at close range because it is, well, exactly close range. It has a big range to it. But this just can be used from, use the air, can use the long range, mid range, pretty much anyway. So I just, I just, this just is made just for support for your other character because this Jutsu does cover a lot of ground it actually is very good compared to the other one because the other one was a pro like provide giving you cover this one is just for a bunch of range and multiple dragons coming out of his mouth and it does more damage as well so yeah this one's main use I would say this is your use for support so this the Jutsu is very good it's just not the best Alright, so now I'll be back with Maldus' last Jutsu, the Fire Style Fireball Jutsu. Alright, so this time I have the last Jutsu, which is the Fire Style Fireball Jutsu. So, here's what I love about this game. They actually have, like, different stuff. Even though it's the same Jutsu, they, some of these characters actually have different attributes to the same Jutsu. So, like, the Rasengan. Jiraiya is the slowest Rasengan. It can't cancel, but it does the most damage out of all of them. And almost like Konohamaru is the weakest, but he can do it. He can like charge it up the fastest. 
or something like that. I love that's what I love about this game. So, with the fires up about Jisoo, I know that Kakashi is the fastest because he can literally just spam those fireballs out, but he can't cancel it. I think Madara is. He's the biggest, the second fastest, if, if I were to say. It's the biggest fire style. And I think it's the strongest too. So I think, I think Marge is the best fire style. He's just strongest and the second fastest. That's still pretty good. I think it's Itachi like right after Marge, but um, yeah, this this fire style of Jisoo is gigantic. And mostly I would say if you're going to be using Marge, I you can use this within um, Marge's combo. So like if you're doing the, the down combo, or not the down combo, not the, uh, the neutral combo. You can actually cancel it, the fire cell right after the uh, neutral combo. Just like that. You can actually cancel it and get some more damage off. Or, okay, at that point I did it wrong. Uh, just, no, just watch it, just watch it. There you go. So it's like the fire side it's, it's it's okay. It's not I don't recommend this being the best for Madara. I don't recommend you ever use this for Madara, but it is good for extending your combos. That's pretty much all it's good for because it's other than that, medium range, long range, it's just a regular fire style you can just avoid. But the other ones actually have some personal use for mid-range and long range. Or at least mid-range at least. So now we're going to go into his ultimate juice to cancel, so let me see how I put this on. You're off. There we go. Uh, here we go. So he should be the fifth. There we go, that was so easy. So, um, yeah, it's, it's the fifth combo, of the, the fifth hit on the YouTube combo. It's, best, it's pretty much that easy, so you're going to practice at this just for a little bit because sometimes Modder's arms kind of get I don't know. Something with his arms. Okay, that's why I did, I did that wrong. Okay, you're going to do it fast. You're going to do it really fast. I got it. I got it. Okay, yeah. This is, is just a little bit difficult. Just because you got to do it at the end of the fourth hit. It's just about when the fifth hit hits. I'm not sure that makes sense. But you're going to do it really fast, basically. You just do it really quick. So it, it, it does take a little bit of practice, but I'm pretty sure you guys can get it now. It's... I, I, I did it wrong, yeah. It was too slow. You're going to do it really fast. Just, just keep practicing on this, and then you get it down. Pretty much. Just like that. Alright, so now we're going to Moderate's Awakening. But, before that, I actually want to see Moderate and Hot Trunks Team Ultimate Juice too, Because it looks dope. Let's go. That, uh, is that a flaming wooden dragon? You know, I always thought that was funny to me how Madara was blowing fire from his mouth and yet he was still talking. That that was actually funny to me every time I did this Ultimate Jutsu. But now we can go into the, t the Team Ultimate Jutsu. So. Here's where it gets a little bit weird. Madara, he's his whole moveset changes. He has now the power of the Rendagon. I I do believe this is the power he swept the five Kage with. If I'm not, but I, I think so. Or, or I, I'm not too sure about that. I can't tell what like what. I can't really remember the Great Ninja War art that much. But uh, yeah, this this awakening it, it looks cool. But there's not that much combo potential to it. He does dish like a lot of damage, but it's this is I'm just gonna put it this way. It's kind of a bad way. I'm just put it that way. It's not it's, it's not the best. So let me show you. So modern his whole moveset changes as repeatedly. This he only has one combo, which is this. He just a, summons a bunch of wood and just blows fire on them. Just about half damage, I think. Let me see. Or not even half. This is like 40% damage. He has a jutsu. Which almost like never connects up, but it does massive burning damage because it has an area effect. If Naruto stop burning, so you can heal. Heal up Naruto. Heal up. So it does that amount of damage if you get a direct hit off. But it's like 
you gotta be at a certain range to it. You gotta be close to your opponent, and they it, they can just block it or dodge it. That's the point. It's like, and there's no way to combo into this. Like every time I try to do this, it doesn't work because it it doesn't do it doesn't do what I wanted to do. It doesn't combo into it. So like this 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 is pretty much a projectile, and you can't combo you can't combo into this projectile, and it's kind of hard to land. And that's that's not including if they block it or sub it or dodge it. They just this is pretty much a bad projectile right now because you can't do anything with it. And let's hold this till it's, till it's grab. So his grab is actually pretty much just the same, except now he has a running on and the freaking monitor. And um, his tilt, he just he's, he's he does the almighty push. I mean I mean uh, the uh, universal pull. He does the universal pull. It's not as big as it's not as big as pains, but still pretty good. The so universal pull just pulls him in a little bit, but it just. His trees are so slow. Like if they, if they block it, like I'm gonna put it this way. If they, if they block all my trees, it doesn't break guard at all, and I just stop. I just I keep going. See, it it took it took three tries for me to break Naruto's guard. Three tries, three combo resets. All right, that time it took two, but. God, Madara, like, god dang. I mean, you could just keep rapidly throwing them, but it's really, that does equal up a lot of damage. And just dang. And the last thing is his air combo, I believe. It just does an almighty push, it does that much damage. So, I don't think this Madara has the best awakening at all, like, he's not even close to it. So, if you're going to wake with Mardo and you're going to fight with them, I would suggest get the get themselves off as best as you can and just keep spamming out the neutral combo. Because this projectile is kind of butt because they can dodge it, they can block it. These little fires, it looks pretty, but it doesn't do jack. Like this, that doesn't do jack. It just does burning, it just does an awesome burning effect. It doesn't do anything. It's all, it's, it's all for just giggles. So if you, you want to land this projectile off, you gotta be closed, and they can't be blocking and guarding, and they can't sub it. So it's pretty, it's pretty much just unreliable. These trees are too slow. It's way too slow, and you're going to get really close up to them. So I, I just, just go crazy with Marvin. Don't use this projectile. Just go, just try to break this guard. Try to get their subs off, and just, just, just try to. Combo it out, I guess. Just try to use your combos. Not with really anything else. Just tilt combo, tilt combo. Because there's really nothing else you can do. You can't really break their guard. And you, 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 your, your, your little hope you have with Mario in his awakened form is just to get down their subs and get some damage up. But I highly recommend you switch to somebody else like Itachi. Like this giant Susano is so much more useful. Than freaking Mario. Actually, not thinking, but he his dragon flames on can actually wow that's really wow dragon flames can actually be a good um, support for for the um, awakening, but it's really just not that good. It's not good at all. But that's pretty much it about Modder. Like he really doesn't have anything else once I miss something. Uh, nope. Yeah. Oh, you can use it in the air too. But. Yeah, it's, it's really nothing. So this is pretty much it about Mario. That's all I could find. But if you guys have another thing, maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know. This, 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 awakening is kind of trash. I mean, it looks cool and all, but it's just, it's, it's really just trash. But I guess I'm just going to end the video up here. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you like down below and subscribe for more Begin Master tutorials. And make sure to tell me who else you want me to use for the next episode. My name is 12 and I'll see you guys next time.